Hello again, this is Mike and I'm the Sports History Collector. Um, today I'm doing a VR for Peter B who wanted to see um, some cards from our birth year. And uh, I'm gonna have to call it audible on this one at the line of scrimmage. Um, the only uh, cards I have from 1960, which is my birth year, um, are um, all signed and already framed and matted along with a bunch of other stuff for my uh, 1960 Pittsburgh Pirate project. Uh, which I will be showing in a larger video um, probably next year. And um, so rather than kind of, you know, have to show that twice, um, I want to show you something else from my birth year that I that I got that's pretty special to me. Um, it is a signed Sports Illustrated from 1960. Let's see if you can see this. Um, this is um, Glenn Davis signed. Uh, he, is, uh, he won gold medal three times once in Melbourne in 1956 and twice in Rome in 1960, which is my birth year. And um, better there. Um, he won uh, the one gold medal in Melbourne and one of the gold medals in Rome for the 400 meter hurdles. And the second, uh, well, the third overall, the second medal in 1960 that he won was he was part of the four by 400 relay team. and. Um, this was, um, I had been looking for this for a while, um, and I never really saw one come up, and finally did, picked it up. I've actually seen several more um, in the last few years, but uh, I really wanted to get this one. One of the reasons is, is if, let's see if I can get this a little closer, if you can see, the date is here. It's actually June 27th, 1960, and that is the exact birthday of mine. <laughs> so that's when I was born, and this is the only sports magazine that I have found that came out on that day. Um, there's a sport magazine um, that has Don Drysdale on it, and it came out for the whole month of June, but um, not that I have found that it's actually June 27th for 1960. Um, a little tidbit, as I like to throw in uh, from time to time, is uh, Glenn Davis, uh, late in life, was asked if he had any regrets about his sporting career, uh, especially the Olympics, and he said that um, if he had to do it all over again, he would have done the decathlon. And the reason why is the 1960 winner of the decathlon for the U.S. was Rafer Johnson. And... Um, Rafer and uh, Glenn used to uh, um, uh, practice together all the time. And I guess uh, Glenn Davis used to beat him all the time. <laughs> so it uh, would have been interesting if he had gone out for that as well, but uh, he didn't and uh, the rest is history. Anyway, uh, that's the VR for Peter B. I uh, hope you enjoyed a uh, little info about Glenn Davis, the Olympic champion, and we'll talk to you soon.